Hi. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. So today I want to make some lunch. I'm going to do pepper steak and onion sub in the uh, air fryer oven. So this is going to be my first time doing pepper steak in, in the air fryer oven. So we're going to see how that works. So what I have for you, um, I already prepped everything, so I'm just going to adjust the camera to the food, and then I'll be right back and we'll get started, shall we? Thank you. And hey, thanks for hanging around and checking it out. All right, hold on. Okay, so we're going to get started on our onions, pepper, steak sub, okay, with cheese. All right, so I already oiled my rack here. You know I put the oil on the paper towel and then I rub it on both sides instead of buying the spray. I also oil my drop pan. All right, so it's all oiled up. Now I'm gonna season the steak. So this is shaved steak. It's on sale this week for $3.99 a pound. So this is about a pound. So I'm putting on Lowry seasoned salt. You know I like Lowry's. And some pepper and garlic pepper and some garlic garlic all right and I think I want a little salt now remember, seasoning is all up to you, how much you want to use or don't use, or if you like other seasonings on yours. You know, some people like onion powder, you know, different things. I think um, I want to mix this up. Okay, and then I want to season one more time. Oops, about to wash that. Questioning in my mind whether the shaved steak is going to actually stick to the metal because it's so thin, right? So what I decided to do is I'm going to put some olive oil on it, on the shaved steak itself. So basically what I'm doing is oiling it up really good to see if I can control some of the sticking on the rack. We'll see how that goes. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. All right, so we're gonna put it on the rack, spread it out so that it's not all piled on top of each other. Okay, so we're gonna put that in. I'm gonna put it on the first uh, first notch that you come to on the bottom. Okay, it's in. All right, so now put this away, wash my hands a minute. Okay, so now what we wanna do I have a, 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 a loaf pan that I'm gonna use. I put some oil in it already, okay? So you just spray the oil around. And then I have my onions already cut up. So let me show you. Okay. You see that? All right. So I'm gonna put the onions in. I'm putting it in a pan because I want some of the juices to flavor the, the steak, okay? And now I have some cut up red peppers. This is one red pepper. So the red pepper cost me a dollar fifty. 
The onion cost me uh, for a large one a dollar and I used half of it so that's 50 cents. So we're on two dollars right there. The steak was four dollars so we're on six dollars right there okay. All right so we're gonna put that in and again we're gonna apply a little oil and some uh, little garlic on that. And I think I want some adobo. Adobo. Okay? Just to give the onions and peppers a little flavor. A little seasoning. So we're going to mix that up. Because you know the onion and the uh, peppers is kind of a dry vegetable. All right, so now we're going to get another rack here. So now you can see my trick how I operate with the oil. So I spray the oil on a paper towel, saturate it, and then you just rub it on both sides. to repeat the process again. It's a lot cheaper than paying $3.99 or $2.99 for a little can of spraying oil that don't really last that long. Okay? Alright, and let's see. I'm going to put this in. I'm on the third notch up. We're going to put our peppers and onions in our uh, loaf pan in. Okay, and you see we're cooking this all together, right? Okay, so you wanna wipe off any excess oil or anything like that on the door. All right. Now we want to set the time. So let's turn it on. Uh, let's go with, uh, we're on 25 minutes on um, 370. I want to cut, 370 is okay. This side is your temperature. So if you want it uh, up or down, you can uh, less or more. So you can just put, put the, push the up arrow out. Sorry, I can't talk. The up arrow or the down arrow. And I want to cook this. Let's start out with 20 minutes and see what happens, okay? We'll check it halfway through, okay? All right, and I already have prepped here my tomatoes. And I have here the sub rolls. I, I wanted wheat sub, sub rolls because I'm doing the One Up Athletics Weight uh, Loss uh, Challenge. And so I'm trying to eat light, okay, so that I can lose some weight because I want to win the challenge, okay? So in this sub roll, I have a half a slice of orange American cheese, all right? You can use any kind of cheese you like. I went with the wheat uh, sub roll because of the, uh, you know, I don't, I'm trying to stay away from any white bread, okay? Because uh, I'm trying to, as I say, lose a few pounds all right all right so we'll be back when this is halfway done okay thank you okay so i'm back it's been cooking uh around 10 or 11 minutes okay it's been cooking 11 minutes i'm gonna take a peek see what's going on Okay, let's look at the peppers and onions. We want them soft, but not too soft where they're mushy, uh, with a little crunch when you bite into it, okay? So I want to take and feel with my hand. Okay, that needs to cook a little more. I'm stirring it up 
so that uh, it's cooking even. It's gonna cook evenly, okay? All right. So I'm gonna take this rack out a minute so we can check out the steak. Top of the drip tray. It's right on top. Okay, and now we're gonna put that back in for about. I'm gonna put it back in for. I would say four min, uh, five minutes. No, four minutes. So the whole process would have gotten completed in 15 minutes. So it took the shaved steak, as you can see right here. I want to show that to you up close. Okay, it took the shea steak 11 minutes and it's going to take the vegetables another few minutes I'm thinking. Alright, so I'm going to put that in a dish so that, putting that on a plate. And what do you what you want to do with shaved steak? At least what I would do is we're gonna take a cutting board. Well, let's use the big one, and we're gonna slide it on here. And then I want to take a knife. And cut it up. You know how you go to the restaurant and you see them cooking the shaved steak on the grill and they're constantly chopping it up? That's because you don't want it like a big piece of steak. You want it in pieces because that's why the word is called shaved steak. Okay. that on a plate so you can take a look okay so as you can see it's in pieces see that okay so that's how you want it so we're going to set that aside and we'll clean this up uh, actually check on the peppers and onions uh, see how that's going okay all right let's check it we have two minutes left maybe we don't have to go four minutes no I want to go four minutes all right I'm gonna put that back in we're gonna let that just completely finish okay and we'll be back Okay, so you can see it's, it's turning off, okay, and uh, okay, it stopped. You hear the beep? You're going to get five beeps when it cut off. Okay, so now we're going to take a look. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. Okay, let me show it to you. You see? It has a little brown color on some of the edges and it looks nice and crisp. It doesn't look like it's uh, overcooked. Let's see if I can get a crunch. I got a crunch, a little crunch 
Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this out. I got another clean rack. So I have my sub roll, they're small sub rolls. Okay, let me show you the size. You can get any size you want, but this is the size that my supermarket had today, okay? All right, so it's about half the size of a regular sub roll. So what we're gonna, I already have the cheese inside there, okay? So we're gonna just lay that out. We're gonna cook two at a time if we can. We'll see if they fit. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to overlap one a little. Okay, like that. That's good. Fit it in there whatever way you can. All right, now I'm gonna put this closer to the top. So. I'm on the third uh, spot from the bottom. Okay, we just want to melt the cheese. Okay, so you're going to turn it on. 370 is fine for the temperature. Let's go all the way down. I'm thinking a minute will melt that cheese. Let's give it a shot. Meanwhile, let's put the uh, peppers and onions in a bowl. It's looking good, huh? You like that? Oh, you're going to love it. Wonderful. Okay. So we're going to line things up. We're going to have our peppers and onions and... I told you I already had the tomatoes cut up here. Let's put those like that. Okay, I want to turn the light on so I can see what's going on with the cheese. And it might take two minutes for the cheese. Uh, not sure. We'll see. I'm looking at it and watching it. Yeah, one minute is not enough. So I'm gonna put that back on for another minute. So two minutes on the cheese. Okay, I'm gonna start that. Okay. All right, and while we're waiting, um, I just want to give you the word of, of the day. Uh, you may have, um, let me put the camera up on me. Here we go. You may have, uh, maybe you woke up this morning, you wasn't in a good mood, or you wasn't feeling well, or something was hurting on you, or you were stressed out about what is going to happen today with the kids or at work. Okay, just remember this. Take it easy. Take it down a notch. You got this. You have solved these problems for years. And you'll solve this one. And if it's a new problem that you're going, dealing with, just uh, remember, you are capable of resolving the problem. And if not, call and get some help from someone, okay? All right, you know I love you, okay? All right, so let's check on our cheese, shall we? All right, let me adjust the camera back down. Okay. Oh yeah, we're melted. Beautiful. Okay. All right, so let's pan up. You see the cheese? It's all melted. The bread is toasted. 
looking good. Okay. So we're gonna put that on there. And then I would like to put the uh, steak on. Actually, I've had my steak out, so it, the temperature have dropped. So what I'm going to do is going to put the steak in the microwave for one minute just to heat it back up, okay? Because we don't want cold food. Okay, while that's heating up, I'm gonna put the tomatoes on. That's looking good so far, right? Okay. We want our peppers and onions on the top. So while that's heating up, I have two more pieces of bread that I wanna put in the air fryer air fryer oven okay and remember you can just fit the bread in there whatever way you can okay you're gonna put it up at the top don't let it touch the drip tray because that's all the dripping from the steak and you don't want to have that touching right all right so remember it took us two minutes for the bread Uh, no, I'm going to turn that off. We want to go up to 370 on the temperature. And the bread, we want to take that down to two minutes. Okay, so that's good. All right. We now have our steak out the microwave. You see the steam on it? That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so now, whoo, hot. Okay, clean up our area here a little bit. Okay, now the peppers and onions. And there we have it. Pepper steak with cheese, tomatoes, onions, and peppers. How about that? You like that? What a picture. That's wonderful. Okay. You good? All right. So I'm going to enjoy eating that. And you can try it out at home. Okay. So this is Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. If you like the video, subscribe. If you want to uh, be entered into the two Amazon giveaways for $25 for subscribers, subscribe. Okay, have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by. I love you. Okay, YouTube family, talk to you later. Bye-bye.